Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I am Halicia, but I go by Lee. And I already know what you're here for, so we're going to get into it. Let's just call this one the end of summer black-owned business haul. Summer's almost over and it's kind of like unfortunate, but you know, I am ready for the weather to change. It's too hot. If you are new here, I typically do videos on fashion, lifestyle, travel, beauty, and natural hair. If that's the vibe that you're on, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button for weekly uploads. Now we're gonna get into it. This Black on Business haul, I think it's gonna be a little bit different or a little bit spicier because I have brands across various categories. All of this stuff is going to be linked in the description bar below if it's still available. If it's not, then I'm definitely just gonna leave you the information of where you can find these black owned businesses. Let's start in the homeware section because I only have one item and it is a coffee mug. I am an avid coffee drinker and I have been following this designer on Instagram for like a year and a half and I would miss every single one of her drops. This is Lolly Ceramic and look at this. Do y'all see the structure, the architecture in this mug? This is absolutely beautiful. It's like this chocolate brown. It's heavyweight. It is beautiful. I'm pretty sure that she hand makes these. I used to watch all of her videos. And to be honest with you, the thing is stunning. I cannot wait to use it. I was waiting to show you guys this. So coffee or tea drinkers, babes. It almost looks like a pick. Okay, now on to, I guess you could say, the beauty kind of skincare. There's a new skincare brand that I really just discovered. And I discovered it because they sell bags. Or they just launch bags. And then I started researching the skincare. And everything just basically came together. So I want to say that you pronounce this brand Edom. And yes, this is the bag, okay? So they sell these bags separately on their website in three different colors, but they will also sell you the bag and the skincare as like a set. That's what I did because I was extremely interested in the skincare products. So I picked like this purple, burgundy, ox blood-ish bag. Tropical night. It looks like vacation. It looks like luxury. And it is the perfect size for a clutch and this whole raffia moment all of this texture it just does something to me so when i see stuff like this that i could carry like this or under my arm and it's just lightweight and it's stunning i'm here for it now the three products that i got are the do dream cleansing balm the milk marvel dark spot serum and of course we already know as girlies that deal with hyperpigmentation often kind of clearing those dark spots is typically one of the hardest things to do after you've cleared your acne and then we have the cloud cushion airy brightening moisturizer this is also great for lightening up that skin and moisturizing and i like very lightweight moisturizers on my skin personally because i can get a little bit oily so having something that's just cloud like 10 out of 10. Now I haven't tried them and for me I typically like to test skincare for at least a good month on my skin so if you're interested in it this is the next set of products that I definitely want to give a try. Let me know in the comments below if you want like some type of review or follow up and maybe like the next month or so after I've had a chance to actually use the products. Now let's get in close. Do you see the earrings? Now I know that I've shared these earrings. I shared them in Designer I Do, the last fashion video on my channel. These are by Koi Studios and I got some more jewelry from her. Okay, she did re-release a version of these. I think it was like yesterday or the day before yesterday, but I think that they might've sold out like the fully gold ones. These bulbs are clear and gold. Like they're gold at the top, but they're actually clear bulb so i like this it's more of like a neutral version of the earrings because it's going to reflect whatever color you're wearing this is what her jewelry comes in typically any of the smaller pieces like the earrings the rings they come in this individually and then the larger pieces come in these beautiful velvet bags so that's these these are a set of earrings and they're like two coils interwoven coils but one has two of them on it and the other one just has one so when you wear them you kind of get like this asymmetrical look 
it's something about earrings that don't match but match that does something to me i feel like it's such an interesting touch to earrings so picked up these y'all need to go to her instagram i feel like she does some of the best visuals that i've seen of jewelry and then she explains the jewelry pieces sometimes and where she gets inspiration from it's like a storytelling aspect to jewelry and it's beautiful and she has a storefront in chicago if i'm not mistaken so if you're in the shy and you're watching this now maybe visit koi studio all right now the other pair of earrings that i got were these i actually wore these recently it's like a tornado on a hoop the most stunning hoop that i've seen period and they're like this matte gold i mean statement staples and then the last piece that i got was this bracelet it kind of reminded me of like an octopus like giving me sea girl vibes but i loved how chunky it is unfortunately my wrists are really small right this is super big on me and this is like the regular size she does do two sizes like a regular and an extended so you do have if you have like a larger or chunkier wrist then this would be great for you but for me it's still too big so hopefully i can find a brand that does smaller bracelets that are really chunky i can typically fit children's bracelets and my hands are small too so it's not even like i have the girth to hold it up i don't the only way that i could wear this is if it's set on top of clothing still love her we're still gonna figure out a way to like work her in where i don't have to worry about her falling out another accessory that i picked up was telfizi so breezy i don't even know where that song came from and why it's stuck in my head i picked up a tail for a bag i haven't bought a tail for a bag in a while the melissa collab and like this burnt orange and what's so crazy is that i was thinking about it even crazier was that my husband was like randomly one day and he never really recommends things he was like i saw this bag i think that you would really like the tail for a bag and he was like i know you have one but not like this and when i pulled it up he was like that one and that just sealed the deal for me and i bought it because i was like how how did you know she is beautiful i've been wearing her okay she's a moment like i don't know it's something about her so casual but yeah so far such an interesting bag people always stop and look two other bags and i regret to inform you before i even show you these bags that they are sold out it could partially be my fault that they are sold out because i wore one of the bags in mexico i posted it on my like to know it this was probably like over a month ago posted it on ltk so if you're not following me on there follow me on shop ltk it's always linked that's just the easiest place to link things from multiple places and you can see a picture so it's not like you have to do a lot of extra like you look for the picture of the item everything is going to be linked are from brandon blackwood these two bags they are trunk cases i can't remember they came out and maybe like march or may or something like that they took a minute to ship but that was so worth it here's one the girls have been gagging about it and it does come with a crossbody chain it is literally a solid gold bag but what's so good about it is the girth so even though it's a small bag because it's so girthy you can actually fit a lot of stuff in here like a card case like a little mirror your lip stuff like it, it can fit in this bag your change and it, it just opens up like this i got a shot wipe in here a bc powder and some bra tape listen listen you never know and it has this b latch at the top beautiful like look at this trunk like are you kidding me with the chain detailing and it's metal so it does have some weight to it obviously so i got the gold in the smallest one now when i linked this they were available on nordstrom and i think like Saks fifth avenue but y'all sold those out like within like one or two days of me sharing them they were gone the other bag is this silver one this silver trunk is like the normal size of his other trunks this is the orange trunk see they're about they're the same size but this one has a top handle that you cannot take off. So the other one, no top handle. This one has a top handle. It looks kind of like a mini briefcase. You could do some damage with this. And then it also comes with a detachable chain crossbody strap. 
this strap is heavy this to me gives pure luxury and i've worn both of them out several times and they don't have a lot of scratches the most thing that they get is fingerprints on them which i don't mind but in terms of scratches and stuff like this stunning silver and gold i mean undeniable true quality and then for his cost i mean you're talking under 500 dollars I don't remember how much these bags were, but I know that they were well under $500. Now, in terms of the look that I actually have on, this look is from Hanifa, and it comes as a set, and she has two versions of it. One version of it has the rhinestones, and the other one does not. I got the one with the rhinestones because, to me, it was just so different. And what's so crazy is that I bought this set because Hanifa actually mailed me a gift. So they mailed me a gift of this like knitted flower bouquet as like a thank you. And I got the gift with a gift card. So you know what I did? I went shopping and I bought this set because I had been eyeing it. Shout out to Hanifa, thank you for that. But there are some other pieces that I got outside of this set. This yellow top, which is already on YouTube. It's already on all social media. And it's really just like a cropped top it almost reminds me of the petal of a flower and it just sits right across here it's a nice thick structured material and the whole back is out so we love that for the summertime it's just easy and i even think about like this piece like underneath a blazer or something or you don't have to have that extra fabric on your back that you don't need you just need the little piece across the front this is perfect for stuff like that and for layering also. I think that's going to look so great layered on top of stuff. And I also have these Hanifa jeans. In the past, Hanifa has run pretty large. So I typically get a size down. So my normal size in Hanifa is a medium. And so sometimes in the bottom, I'll get a small because they, they're not only long, but they actually run pretty large. Like to me, they are made for super curvy, voluptuous people. And I'm not. So I'll size down and they typically fit better. However, because these are already meant to be baggy, when I size down, it actually just made them tight. And I didn't want them to fit tight. So I would recommend you going true to size in these to get that looser look or sizing down if you want them super snatched to the body because now they are super they're so snatched to the body i cannot put these in the dryer up next there is a newer brand i guess to me like i've never shopped this brand it's only been out for maybe like a year or a year and a half but we all have seen it when this first launched on the internet the internet was in a frenzy and it is woods by jordan she's been dropping these bodycon dresses that are supposed to be magical mesh I hadn't shopped it until now. I was just waiting for the perfect dress or what I felt like was gonna be the perfect dress. Now, ironically, clearly I've been on a color scheme. The yellow and the orange, okay? In the words of politics and fashion. And that's basically what this dress is. It's yellow and orange. The very first day that I got it, like the day that it came in the mail, I tried it on, did a review on it on TikTok and then I wore it that evening. It's true to size, but it is going to hug every single curve on your body. I would not recommend sizing down at all in any of these pieces. It is super long, but I would definitely say probably a good tall girl friendly. If you're five, six or less, this is going to be sweeping the floor. Stunning dress. The mesh is actually kind of like a compression type of mesh and it is double layered so you could go without undergarments but i still think that you would need like at least nipple covers or something if you're gonna do it it's breathable it's a great dress for probably all season long because i'm sure that this would look stunning layered in the winter time oh let's talk about it because this color in the winter amongst all that gray and black with maybe like a cropped puffy jacket situation this would probably be so cute so loves that is pretty much it i do have two honorable mentions so if you made it to this far in the video shout out to you we love you make sure that you subscribe so these two products are beauty products and one of them is by danessa myrick is a black owned beauty brand and i feel like she's swiping through the industry 
like a hurricane. Here comes the hurricane. <sighs> they are everything. But she launched the Groundwork palette. I actually got it in PR. This box is, is chocolate heaven. Show y'all the palette. I use it on my eyes and the contours a couple of places but yeah this is what the palette looks like i feel like it's washed out i feel like it's it doesn't look like this in person at all this is very muted baby this palette is bright great for all skin tones and there are two formulas in the palette warm and cool tones 10 out of 10 i would recommend i think this is going to retail for 65 dollars and then of course pat mcgrath launched a new mothership oh my goodness I just realized that the back of it is gold. That is pretty. And it's a great mirror. Okay, anyways, I'm not me relishing, but I also used some of this today. This is like, again, so washed out. Oh, a bunch of like purple and pinky, but like nude shades. This is her 11th mothership, I wanna say. That's actually it. Those were the honorable mentions. I don't have as many thoughts on the makeup because, again, I've only used them one time. I can't really say how this is going to work well for me, but I'm still going to leave them linked because there are tons of black-owned beauty brands also, along with the skincare brands, that are just killing it. They're doing an amazing job, and they're actually curated with you in mind as like a top priority that is it for this end of summer black owned business haul make sure that you like comment and subscribe i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye